Welcome everyone, we're back with another part of Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, I believe it's part 3, I haven't done that many, but I think it's part 3, but we're literally going to start off where we left off from yesterday, which was part 2. Um, if you haven't watched the first two parts, what's happened is, is we're Banishers, um, it's Red and Anita, um, Anita died, she's a ghost. And we're going to pretty much go and save her and bring her back. That's the oath I made with her. Uh, you can, there's Red. There's Antea, not Anita. Antea, there we go. Very good game so far. Uh, if you have watched the previous two parts, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Oh, we haven't checked this hut yet. So let's go and sort this out. Oh, and we've got a ring. Dodging with Antea increases the damage of the next punch attack by 30%. Nice. Okay. So that is in. And where we're heading to is down there to the hunter's camp. Hope everyone's having a good day. Jog. Let's check up here as well. Might be some stuff. And there is. Take that, thank you. He's not going to need it. And I'm still playing in performance mode. You again. Wasn't too bad. Anything else around here? Grab this. Yeah, combat's really good. Really enjoying it. Can't wait to get more abilities. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. I like that they took together as well. Like you'll hear them talking between each other while you're playing. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. And we made it to camp. There we go, good start. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Right, I think that's who we need to speak to. So we're gonna go and speak to her and then see where we go from there. I wish a word with you. Well, come in. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. 
Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meager skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams... Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here. On the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out, making the rounds, hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone. She's thrice the hunter. Anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. 
Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? <laughs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. Okay, so we've asked all the questions that we can, so uh, we'll move on. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's Hello. find your cabin and see how much. There's a question mark around here. Let's go and have a look. Around here. It's up top. Right, that's locked. Now this requires a key. Okay, so that needs a key. We'll head to our hut and uh, rest up, like she said, and then we'll go from there. I've slept in worse, and it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. James Bible. Oh, I wonder if that's the key to the chest. Abandoned letter. I'll let you pause the video and you can read that. If you want to, you don't have to, but we will carry on. Freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's see what we can upgrade. Got no skill points, so what do we need? Scourge. Okay, so we need that. That's fine. Let's update. We'll upgrade that while we're here, might as well. Right, we've got enough charges, so we will crack on. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. And another blue chest. Right, 
I want to go and see if that key that we just got. Opens up his chest. Yes, there we go. There we go, punch attack damage is increased by 5%. So we've got roach for that. Very nice. Go over to this one. The forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Fitzkin's note to Fortune Hayton. Again, let you pause the video. You can read that. These nails look brittle. Very brittle. Voices from the dead. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. Okay, yeah, that was weird as hell. Job is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. What kind of forge has no tools? Oh, there's someone there. Let's go and speak to them. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to start. Oh, well. Ain't you a sight. Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. <laughs> um, let's start with... What's the word around here? So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible. Watchful. When she speaks, I listen. What think you of thick skin new Smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But Thick Skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? Wait. You went into the forge, without asking? The door was open. Also, there was a puddle on the floor, which turned out to be salty. Well, it's rude, but this time I'll let you off. The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. The 
It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord, am I in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. The forge is empty, no tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. I've got a funny feeling she's lying just by the way she's acting. What do you reckon? To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you and for your husband too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Let's go with that one. Did you fight? We're best friends. We don't fight. He's a good man. He never lies. He'll put you at your ease, and before you know it, you're laughing. He is also devout. Almost forgot. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Right, we'll leave it there Thank and then uh, time, we'll continue Eden. the story. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. Okay, so we can check the house. Take some bits. Why not steal? Right, Nelly Hayton's journal. Again, same. If you want to pause the video and give it a read, I will let you do that. And let's check the bed. I have a feeling about the bed. Shreds of a memory linger here. Right, I'm guessing it's going to be an echo. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. God. That's no ghost killer. threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed like well, he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. Okay, so... A moment. Well, I'll tell you, I love the, love the way that you can just go between them. Imagine ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. So good this game so far.
really, really enjoying it. Just going to follow the tracks. Think of the blacksmith and his wife. Let's go with that one. Fortune Heaton's ghost haunts the forge. I'm sure of it. For Nelly's sake, I hope not. Yeah, I hope you guys watching are enjoying it as well. Let's go straight down. Let's grab that while we're here. Oh, there's a fish there. Just going to continue following the tracks. I don't want to get diverted too much. Another area we can't get to just yet. you may be for whatever you have done I thank you I thought I was done for fortune heaton sir and so very pleased that you came along red McCraith, the banisher weren't there two of you there were yes as it happens I've been looking for you you have uh, what for Right, stop from here. How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh... Nice. Having a wife. A home. Nelly is, uh... A fine woman. Clever, brave, generous and... Kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Meet? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just... Uh... Met. Does Lying. he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. A wee bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I... Uh, I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stayed together, helping each other with things. <laughs> Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need... Romance. Liar. So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like then? Uh, it's alright, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Uh, lots of building work to be done. That means nails. Whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. 
I love when a man takes pride in his work. <laughs> Let's go with this one. What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. The forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. I feel like he's lying. Let's go with that one. Ditching the tools won't help. The haunting affects the forge, too. Then I'll stay out of it. I can find another blacksmith. Thick skin's nails will have to wait. Can you help us, Mr. McCraith? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. I thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am, was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. So what are we going to find? Let's have a look at the portrait. So he's not a Puritan. It's no better than a novice. I bet he's not the backsmith. Got a funny feeling. Uh, coming to me then saved Nelly Hayton's marriage. And she's involved somehow. Definitely. Right, let's continue. Let's go in here. Traces of a ghost's memory resonate here. Yeah, definitely something fishy going on. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flatter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Right, so I'm guessing it's this way. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that's not the blacksmith. And the wife's got something to do with it as well. Like this. Just got this funny feeling. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. Right, let's go with it. He's lying. He's no blacksmith. He's lying. We sent him home. I hope he's no danger to Nelly. Right, this way. Pick 
picking up something spectral nearby. Nice, thank you. All right, the tracks I think were leading us around here, weren't they? There we go. Back on the trail. The hammer looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The it's hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. Up there. Can't get it from here, so there we go. as much stuff to upgrade as we can so it's always worth it I'll tell you what I'm really liking this game right I guess we can't go there I sense a trap I sense an echo all right then let's trigger the trap see what I mean about it? I like the way they talk to each other a nice back and forth it's not too much and it's not too little it's, it's a lot really nice Wonder why we can't break this ship. There we go. Always have a look around. now. 
That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Oh, no. Oh, okay. What do you want to do? Wow. Oh, mob birds killed a man with his own hammer. Okay. Now it's all uh, coming together. We should talk to his ghost. Okay, it's all coming together now. Show yourself and join me now. There he is. the banishes Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name, all mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful, scheming, errant. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. Ow, here we go. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. Yeah, I agree. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. He's a bastard, but murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. 
and I'm concerned for their safety. Yeah. Got to look at that. I don't know. I don't know which way I'm going to go on this one. We'll see when we get there. Optional rest at the high cave. Right, rest of the high cave. So it is this way. Shelter with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. <laughs> Could this be a treasure map? Looks like oh. one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. We'll have a look at that later. Let's just rest up. Get this one done. See what the fast travel's like. Uh, did I get any skill points? Nope. Did get another ring though, didn't I? No. No. Oh, that's a great to pay up brooch anyway. Let's go. Uh, damage dealt by red is increased up to 40%. The lower the spirit gauge. Uh, let's keep this one on for now. Got enough charges, so let's fast travel. Pretty simple enough. Pretty straightforward, nice and quick. I think Fortune's ghost is here. We should have said Let's something. end this now. I was afraid to worry you. Hush! Someone's coming. Vanisha! You're back! Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just liar. yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Askell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. 
I was right. He's as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end. But I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. So, coming to an Eden saved nearly Hayton's marriage. That was a lie. The ball of ship. When Nellie was threatened by a man with a hammer, the blacksmith protected her. Nellie Heaton and a new friend Arthur Carty killed Fortune, her abusive husband. So Nellie Heaton conspired with Arthur Carty to murder her husband Fortune. Back from his watery grave, the ghost of Fortune Heaton wants revenge on Nellie and the man who took his place. He's not the blacksmith, he is the imposter. Despite what everyone believes, the blacksmith is not Puritan. Suppose the honourable blacksmith lied. The blacksmith works. No better than novice. The blacksmith fortune agent is an imposter. Right. Time to bring closure. Let's do it. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him, I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? I mean... She was being abused by him. Alright, they were drove to murder. But they're going to be happy together. He's a thief, but he's changed his ways for her. It's going to have to be banished. He deserves it, doesn't he? Definitely deserves it. I know I stuck to the oath, but if he wasn't abusing her, then he'd still be alive. Yep, I made my decision. Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. 
Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. You have... No shell, no ties, no purpose. Wow. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. There you go. That is now done. And we will leave the video there. Thanks guys for uh, stopping by and watching. Really appreciate it if you've made it this far. Uh, it means a lot. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I will catch you next time for Vanishers Ghost of New Eden. Take it easy guys.